Good afternoon. Good morning, Facebook. This is, well, it's Thursday. It's 4 p.m. in the UK, 11 in Eastern. This is Inspired Buying Video with myself and John. Hello, John. Hi, Stephen. Second right. time today. <laughs> it is the second time today, <laughs> and, and we're doing well. Um, and this, well, we want to first of all say, if you're watching the replay, there's tons of interesting stuff here. It's educational, instructional, and examples of uh, videos created not just by ourselves, but other people too. And we do welcome your videos if you'd like to send them in. And uh, I suppose the first thing to do is to actually get the menu going. So welcome to the show. And this incredibly is inspired by in video season one, episode 14. It's just flying by. I mean, I've got a video to show later, which is from episode four. All right. And at that, that stage, we didn't know which direction this was going in. So what we'd like to do is uh, say a big thank you. Uh, sorry, that's not the one, John. Sorry. No. Uh, a big thank you to all our friends who actually watch the shows because uh, we make them for you and we enjoy doing so. We are truly inspired by video. And it's over to John to describe this week's education element. <laughs> yeah, I don't know whether it's educational or not. Um, well, basically, I've seen a number of people asking, can they make their um, videos look vintage or can I put a colour cast over the video? Ah, right. Okay. So I thought the easiest thing to do was do both and show you what you can achieve and how you can take a video and give it a vintage feel all right without further ado as we say up north here is the video and i am going to take my camera off and john's camera off <laughs> you knew that was happening and press play oh hi uh, one asked of the things i see in the... often uh, asked about in the in video facebook group is how can I add a tint? And how can I uh, make an effect to make my video look older than it is? So I thought what I would do today is show you just that. So first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the build your own scene and the logo. Okay, so we're starting with a blank area. So I'm going to add a video, um, I've already decided what, what I want, um, I'm going to type girls in because what I want is a video that I can make look to be a bit period and also to show how you can dull back bright colours. So we're going to look at this one here and it's a couple of girls walking down and it could easily be uh, 50s, 60s style outfits. So that's the one we want. So we're going to drag that on and add that to the surface. Now this is 30 seconds long. I, I don't want this thing to last forever. So I'm just going to cut it down to 12 seconds. So you notice the in and the out giving me the 12 and click done. Okay, so if we preview now, we can see that we've got 12 seconds of these two young ladies walking down the street. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, in order for us to be able to look at the different things that go on, I'm going to duplicate that. Yes. And then I'm going to work on this now. I want to add a scene, a, a layer to it to give it a, an effect of being clear, but the effects actually don't give me what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go to shapes and I'm going to go to solids. And if I scroll down, here is, whoops. Right, so I've added that now and then I'm going to make that. half the width. I'm doing it half initially uh, because I want to show you what we can do. 
So if we go to colours, you can see the colour there is black. Now I want to add a sepia-like tint. Now my colour chart tells me that a typical sepia brown is um, 97, 69, 1E. Okay, and as you can see, that is a, a pretty much a sepia colour. But you can't see anything through it. So I'm going to tone that down to about 65%. And now you can see the difference. Um, I'll just pull it down to halfway just so that we can see. Um, but if we now preview that scene, you can see that you've got a colour tint over the top and it's you know definitely toning down the video as a whole so let's go back and make that there and if we preview the scene again so we've started to give it a sepia tone which is making it look older but I want to add an effect to it that makes it look a bit flickery and introduces uh, a bit of interference. So what I'm going to do is duplicate that scene again so that we can see all three different actions. And you can see how the little mini changed into a full thing instead of the little block in the middle. So what we're going to do now is we are going to go to effects and we're going to go to entertainment. Unfortunately these don't have names names just click to ads and you really can't see much but the first one actually is the flickering so I'm going to drag that I'm going to add that and you can see it's there and if we look at colors for that you'll see it doesn't give us a color but it does give us an opacity so if we preview that you can see it's into but I find that a bit in your face I want a little less crackliness so I'm going to edit the scene and I'm going to pull this down to 70 well, roughly 75 percent and let's have another look well that's again toned it back a bit um, but I'd like to tone it a bit further so I'm going to stop the scene and I'm going to tone it back right back down to 50 percent okay Let's preview. And that's more again. So that's give us an older look and feel to what was originally quite a bright video. So what we're going to do now is we're going to stop this and I'm going to show you the actual video itself. <laughs> I hope you found that useful and uh, I'm looking forward to creating some more videos for you in the coming weeks. Goodbye. People did find it useful and uh, hope they see how you can create different effects using colour. I find it useful. I, yeah, I, I found it useful. I've got some ideas for... Uh, how I can use that. Yeah, uh, obviously it doesn't have to be sepia. Yeah. You could put a, a rose tint on it or a, a blue tint or whatever. But Indeed. The, the idea was to just take it from a bright in your face and give it an aged look and feel. Well, it's a, a very useful technique. As, as I say, I can see me using that. To everybody who's watching us, uh, welcome. If you've got questions about NVIDIA, this is inspired by NVIDIA. So we're here to uh, take your questions. And we're here to actually show your videos as well. And uh, I'm going to take John's video off the screen. John will be posting that later. 
Uh, well, I normally post them two days after this, trying to get people to watch this first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, there's method. There's method in what we're doing. I haven't um, posted the one from before right, Christmas. Okay. So before Christmas, so I'll probably do that later. Video where my earphones keep dropping out, but I'm going to carry on anyway. Now, what we like to do is showcase videos by other people, and in this particular case, this video is by a lady who is well known to me and to John, and uh, I asked her permission first. So I'm going to bring the video up on screen. This was cre created totally with InVideo, and John doesn't know what's coming next, but I do. <laughs> right, shall we? Actually switch it. I know, let's switch our cameras off. Okay, cameras off, mics off, and I'm going to play the video. Now, this is a marketing video created by Angelica to, well, to celebrate the fact she's uh, actually written 14 books, but to actually explain a little bit more about what they are. No sound, Stephen. Did you switch your mic back on? I'll switch my mic back on. Can you hear me now? Yes. <laughs> right, I had okay, actually good. seen it before. Oh, right. You caught it in Angelica's timeline. Uh, no, and Angelica posted it on Empire. Ah, as a mission. Correct. Right. Okay. Yes. Well, that's, that's one great way to actually promote your videos, which is a question we'll come to uh, in a bit. Uh, but, I mean, the, to actually write 14 books is, well, it's just awesome. Um, and uh, I thought number eight might be of interest, John, for gardening. If you were actually to learn German at the same time, then it would be handy, I'm quite sure. Um, or for, for anybody who's not learning German uh, and they have youngsters, then book number 14, the dinosaur coloring cool. book, would be good. And also, if you are visiting Germany, then you could actually use uh, the Arbis set uh, book, which would be very handy for you as well. So that's mm -hmm. that's actually a marketing video created with uh, in video, and not only were the books with created with love, but I know that the video was as well because I watched it develop. And uh, I mean the pro the process. You and I can put a video together for in in an hour. Uh, Angelica took quite a quite a bit longer to do that because she wanted it just just so. Um, and that's it. I mean, you can actually craft quality videos using InVideo. That's the point.
and that was an advert for Angelica. So you don't have to be a video editor to do it. No. You can be a normal human being like <laughs> Angelica. Don't class us as normal human <laughs> beings, but Angelica is. Angel Angelica is, um, definitely. Um, apart from doing the 5K. I, I, uh, we're training for the 5K at the moment, and I was speaking to my brother last night, and he does. He walks seven miles a day. And he said, uh, when I told him that we're training for a 5K, he said, you maniacs, why are you doing that? It doesn't do any good. To which I replied, yes, it does. So there you go. <laughs> um, <laughs> my, um, my daughter's husband. Yeah, I have to keep get used to this. Yeah, idea. Yeah. I've been together for years and years and years, but now he's a husband. Um, his sister... Uh, posted actually today her her 10 years ago picture and her picture of her today and she is like i won't say she was huge but she is really slim and fit now but she runs but mm -hmm. she also gets her exercise in working because she's become a postwoman so she oh. delivers and she walks at least 10k every day delivering the post Right. Okay, that's a good way. She to gets do it. paid to train. She gets paid to keep fit. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, okay. Now, a few notices before we continue. Uh, this is in video. If you want to try in video, then you just need to go here, and I will post the link. And I'm going to copy and paste. Control C, Control V. So that's in video. And I'm going to send that. And the other thing I'm going to send, of course, at the same time, John and I are both members of the uh, support group, which is a great place to be to actually show your videos and to get help and assistance from John and everybody who's in there. Uh, so I've posted the link to the Facebook group because that's the best one of the best places to be, isn't it, John? Yes. And can we remind you, if you're in the group, please like it. It helps everybody. Well, yeah, yeah. There's a disparity between the number of members of the group, which is over four thousand, yeah. I think, and the number of likes. We're we're going to go on about this because it's it's only fair. If you're enjoying the product, then let other people know about it. Uh, that would be good. Right now, I don't know whether you noticed. Uh, somebody said that they were fascinated, and they really enjoyed doing. Uh, in video videos and that person was holly and i'm m at the moment speaking to holly about her videos being featured on next week's show all right um so i think that may well uh may well happen uh right okay now that's next week's show sorted or possibly we're gonna have to do this uh, as you say get organized and actually share, say what we're going to do actually plan that's your video again isn't it yeah you don't want to play that one again you've already i don't want to play that one again i've played <laughs> oh, if only we could name these videos i'm going to bring another video up then this may be a video we want to play it may not be a video we want to play but we're going to bring it up on screen now we're going to wrap in this and we're going to go back to uh show four and uh one of the videos that was shown on that show was by kevin so i'm going to switch john's camera off I'm going to switch my camera off and we're going to play the video again. This is created by NVIDIA, but not by Holly. So I'll take Holly's name off. Otherwise we'll get, get confused. Um, this video.
I thought Stephen had got lost then. <laughs> I think uh, Kevin set out to prove that he's an old time rocker with that backing track. Darn. Brought the show to life, brought us to life as well. And we're <laughs> hoping to have Kevin back uh, in a few weeks' time to actually show, because that was 10 weeks ago. And we know he's been working on new videos since then. So hopefully we'll get him back in the next few weeks to actually show. So that's Holly and Kevin. Uh, I'm sure Matt's been working hard as well. So we'll bring some of Matt's videos back. But if you do create in video videos, then just contact us and we'll show your videos. And you can come and talk to us about your videos and how you're using video. And uh, it's the commercial. This is a commercial show. If you want to advertise on the show, then you're more than welcome to do so. Now, I came up with a question, which I didn't tell you about. So I'm going to bring it up and let you ponder for a moment why on the question. Um, and we've done that one. So question is, where can you post your own video videos? Because you created them. You spent loving hours actually creating them but what happens next john well <clears throat> you can post them more or less anywhere because you've got the three different formats that suit almost every uh, social media there is you can use them as adverts you can post them as videos on your timelines in uh, stories instagram wherever um uh -huh. there's an infinite number of possibilities of where you can post them. And of course, you can post them in the in video group too. Show how far clever you are. Brilliant. Brilliant. I, I, I echo everything that John said on that. And I, I can't build on it, so I won't. So once you've created the video, it's yours. You can use it wherever you want. There's no watermark on it. And you can just, well, give it, uh, well, publicity, really. Um, and we do know that people enjoy watching videos and it's even more true. They enjoy watching video replays. Um, so just post it everywhere until somebody complains, but that's not going to happen because there are billions of people watching our videos and, uh, plenty of videos to watch. How could you make a video stand out there? Color, sound, yeah. words. The mixture of, of those. I think you've got to uh, attack all of the senses. Uh huh. Yeah. So right. a video needs to include some video. Okay. It needs to include possibly some shapes with some words on the shapes or big words on top of the video. And it's got to have soundtrack and maybe even a voiceover. Indeed, and all of that can be achieved within the NVIDIA platform itself. You don't need to go anywhere else uh, to actually carry out all those activities. And the other thing is that just to labor the point that once you've done your video, you can post it in the NVIDIA group on Facebook and you can get people, your peers, to actually review it for you. And we can say that the members of the NVIDIA group are supporters. They support yeah. everybody. There's no backbiting. Everybody wants everybody else to win. So yeah. it's a great place to actually say, what do you think of this? And nobody's going to turn around and say, it doesn't work for me. People are going to say, you might just be able to do this. Yeah. yeah. Now, one place that you don't see many people posting their in video video in video videos is Twitter. Uh -huh. And there's a couple of things you need to appreciate. One, it can't be any longer than 29 seconds. Okay. Two, it's got to be pretty compact size-wise. And three, you've got to get your message over damn quick because it goes in no time at all on your Twitter feed. That doesn't stop in you putting on the next day or six days later or whatever. Repetition is fine. But with InVideo, within the uh, thing the other thing to do is to after you've downloaded it from in video is to make it smaller um, by using something like handbrake and turning it into 12 uh, 1280 by 720 because that's uh, more acceptable and because the videos 16 to 9 videos get squashed um, if you go in with the larger 
file so the larger dimensions actually end up with a video that's not too clear so when you put them onto onto the uh, twitter environment knock them down to 1280 by 720 and you can use the 1280 by 720 in facebook too because at the moment you really only get 720 as a visual size in facebook anyway yeah. now we've been talking about uh, posting the video everywhere what you can do in addition to that is that the video stays on in video and you can copy it and you can make a slightly different version so you could have several versions of the same video doing the rounds all telling a similar story uh, but possibly in a different way you could actually test anything that you like and uh, once you've got your NVIDIA video, then you can use it anywhere. You could even use an NVIDIA video in an NVIDIA video. <laughs> I've, um, for a client, my mm -hmm. pots and pans, I keep saying pots and pans, they really don't sell pots and pans. They sell sinks and transport boxes and mobile fridges and that sort of stuff. Um, I created for them a really simple from a template show thing it sits listed the show thing date time where venue location etc we've now used that for four shows because they absolutely love it they say it gives all the information they want to give out so we just simply now duplicate it and change the change the venue and stuff and reuse it good idea a very good idea right i just post we're building up a catalog of all the uh, shows that we've done we say this is show 14. so on youtube in high definition you can watch all the replays and incredibly john people are um there used to be a time when i used to put a video take it from facebook put it onto youtube and it got a couple of views and now i've got a situation where do that and it can get up to 100 views so that's good it's good, that's good. Uh, Abhalish, I think that's how you pronounce his name, has asked me if I could put these little videos I do onto YouTube as well. So I'm probably going to create a specific channel for that. Okay. And uh, do that in the next week. And uh, as part of that, I'm one of the things I'm looking at doing in the next day or two is to show people how to use it to create a Facebook head of head head of video okay ah, right okay <laughs> because there are some Brilliant. things that you can tweak to make your head of video work better than it is as the thing and the key is the fact that it, it's 16 to 9 for a head of video it's just right. completely different dimensions because it's 812 by 482 so you have yeah. to give it some thought as to what you are doing. Do you scrunch it all up in the video and place it, or do you use the whole 16 to 9 and use an external product to re to reduce it to the correct dimensions so you see the whole of your video, yeah. not the middle bit? So that's something I'll be looking at over the next couple of days. Right. We're coming up to the half hour, which is the normal length of these shows because we don't want to... Uh overdo it we are inspired by in video and we'll be back next week john it's over to you well um thank you for watching thank you for those that are watching post the life um let us know that you're watching just put replay in the comments uh, on facebook because it makes us feel good if we see some names as well as oh, yeah. numbers climbing up um and we want to continue to do this but if you don't say yes you want us We'll have to go elsewhere and do something else. No, no we, we won't. Promise we won't. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. it's, um, goodbye from me in the Midlands and goodbye from my friend down near Stonehenge. Bye. Take care, everybody.